yet another amazing, amazing guest speaker, Dr. Manoj Krishna from the Human Wisdom Project. Dr. Manoj Krishna worked at it as an orthopedic and spine surgeon for 30 years. He left his medical career to launch the Human Wisdom Project to make the world a better place by helping everyone access their own innate wisdom, which can be life-changing and comes from a deeper understanding of ourselves and how our minds work. So Dr. Manoj is also a published author. His first book, Understanding Me, Understanding You, was translated in five languages. So it's, it's very close to the bestseller, I think. And the second one book, right, uh, which was launched 30th of June, Stress Free, um, which I got on my bedside here, which I'm, you know, at my fingertips. The Human Wisdom app accompanies the Human Wisdom Project. And Manoj thinks living with this wisdom enables us to be happy, have a fulfilling relationships, meet challenges with calm, and live with compassion for ourselves, each other, and the earth. It can help us avoid and overcome stress, avoid addiction, and contribute to our success in the world. So ladies and gentlemen, I give you Dr. Manoj Krishna. Now we can... Shabam. Over to you, Dr. Manoj. I've not had a kinder introduction in a long time. <laughs> You're so welcome. Thank you. thank you so much, everybody. Let me begin by sharing a couple of slides with you, which give you the sense of scale of what we're trying to do. Okay. Um, imagine if there was a single solution rooted in learning that could reduce all these problems, stress, anxiety, addiction, and so on, and boost emotional intelligence, resilience, courage, collaboration, contentment, and develop communication and leadership skills that employers are looking for. Now, by understanding why we think and act in the ways that we do, many problems that originate in our thinking could be prevented and more easily solved. Just look at the scale of the problems the world faces. On the left, you have stress, which is 80%, anxiety, 40 to 50%, divorce rates, 40 to 50%, loneliness, very high, 30% in marriages, by the way. Addiction, 20 to 40%, depending on if you include the smartphone or not. 20% of marriages are abusive. Can you imagine? A third of women in the world will be physically or sexually abused in their lifetime. And that's the WHO. Two billion people live currently in war zones in the world, out of a population of 8 billion. 200,000 Ukrainians and Russians have died in that war just recently or injured. But in the last century, we humans killed 200, not in the last, the previous century, 200 million of our own. 200 million. Can you imagine? No other species on our planet does that. And if you look in the right column of the costs of all these, it's astonishing. I mean, substance abuse alone in the US is a $1.5 trillion problem. Only in the US. 100,000 opioid deaths in the last year. Anxiety, divorce, obesity, 42% of Americans are obese with the risks of diabetes, heart disease. So the question is, what makes the human mind behave in a way that's so contrary to its own best interest? Right? We are the most intelligent species on our planet but look how we're not able to resolve these problems on the left. Why is that? We can put a man on the moon, send him to Mars, 
Why can't we solve stress or addiction or divorce? Right? Now you'd think stress has nothing to do with obesity or addiction or loneliness. But all these problems have one common root. They all begin in our thinking. So if we could go deeper and understand the origins of these problems in our thinking, these problems can be prevented and more easily solved. Imagine if we could prevent stress, if we could prevent suicide, prevent anxiety, addiction, relationship breakdown. You know, when two people tie the knot, they both think I'm gonna live happily ever after with this person. And yet, despite their best intentions, less than half make it. So it's on this basis that we started the Human Wisdom Project. And that's, it's not the Manoj Krishna Project. It's a Human Wisdom Project. It's owned by every human being who can contribute to it. It's for every human being who can benefit from it. And I really believe that if we could share this understanding and this work with the world, we could create a better future for humanity. So we haven't even talked about climate change or all the global problems that are going on, but this wisdom has a direct correlation in addressing those challenges as well. And we recently did a video for COP27. So here's what we've done. It's a life companion to understand yourself, manage your own mental health, have happier relationships, be emotionally intelligent, and develop the soft skills you need to be successful in the world. We have a five circles of wisdom program and probably and what we've done is we've just launched the program for adults on the right, but we are working on one for teenagers right now and to come our programs for children and parents. So we want education to offer lifelong learning about yourself. See, at the moment, if you look at the world of education, we're only educated about the world around us, but not ourselves. And that's why all the problems that begin in our thinking, we have no answer to. If you tell someone who's anxious, don't be anxious. They don't know how to do it. Uh, so that's my vision, that if we can bring this wisdom, which is not my wisdom, by the way, it comes from your own understanding of yourself. That's the beauty of it. We could change the future of humanity. You know, just like Edison in 1879 invented the light bulb, and that transformed the future of mankind, light everywhere. This wisdom illuminates your own thinking. It's a light inside you that shines a light on how your mind functions. And with that inner light, you can be free of all these problems, live a life of joy, and make the most of the short time that we have on earth. You know. um, so let me now show you around the, with that introduction, take a moment to show you around the human wisdom app that we've created. And for all of you who are so learned, I'm gonna start at the bottom of the app because our passion is to make the world a better place. So we can apply this wisdom to end racism, climate change, after all, you know, 20,000 scientists signed a letter saying climate change is driven by human consumption. 5% of the population in America consumes 25% of the world's resources. And the rest of the world wants to be like America. And of course, it's a disaster for us and our children. But what makes a person want to have 30 pairs of shoes or... 30 jackets or trousers or whatever it is. It's because we haven't addressed the emptiness inside us, right? We have an emptiness inside us and we think the mind is always looking on the outside. 
for things to make it feel good on the inside. Buying things is one way. But the pleasure we get from buying anything lasts only five minutes. And then it's an old thing. And then it needs something new to fill that space. But the new thing needs to be bigger and better. See, the same pair of shoes or the same handbag or the same phone won't do. It needs to be bigger and better. And so the cycle of consumption continues. And we are programming, programmed to think success lies in wealth and fame. But you and I know that neither of those two bring peace to the soul. Right? I've yet to meet a wealthy person who's at peace. So the things we seek in the world outside don't bring us the peace we seek on the inside. And that's what wisdom can offer. But with this also, we could, do you know, 90% of primary care appointments in America are linked to stress. 90%. And must be the same here. If we could give people the tools to prevent and manage their own stress, Imagine the difference it could make to them and to the healthcare systems around the world. We can end war. Do you know how? Really simple. Someone's from Ireland, right? So John has known this example. So John, please excuse me, you've heard it before. But say this is the peace wall in Belfast. On this side, I'm Catholic. The other side, you're Protestant. We grow up hating each other. We never ask why. And our side says, go kill the other person. They'll say, yeah, give me a gun. Off I go. I don't think about it. But if you and I pause to ask, why are we about to kill somebody we've never met? Why do we hate people we've never met? Then we'll realize it's the same process of conditioning that's affected you and me. And we are not aware we're conditioned. And yet we believe everything we've been told my history of you know, being on this side of the wall and that side. The moment you and I see that it's the same process which has occurred to both of us without our awareness, we put our guns down. We realize we are the same human being deep down. My right hand would never go to war with my left hand, even though they look separate because they're connected to the same body. So if I'm no longer Russian, and you're no longer Ukrainian, can anybody persuade us to kill each other? They can't, you see. So simple. This understanding of conditioning and its impact in our lives could end war. And so I could go on. So we start off with this module on how to look at yourself. We know how to look at the world, but not ourselves. So there are nine modules here which explore Things like awareness and insight and how to look without judgment, ask the right questions. Questions are the key that opens a door to wisdom. Like, why do I hate somebody I've never met? Right. And that helps you to go deeper and understand and discover you've been conditioned as an example. Then that helps you to understand how your mind works, not your mind. So the human mind is the same in you and me. This is the foundation of the Human Wisdom Project, these two module sections. So, for example, we're all conditioned but not aware of it. All our opinions, our beliefs, our aspirations, our prejudices, our habits come from our conditioning. And that's what causes all the division we see in the world. Or our mind compares all the time, but we're not aware of it. Shama goes on the Mal to holiday in the Maldives, I think, and she puts her pictures on Instagram. I think it's her fault for making me feel bad. Of course it's not. It's my mind that's comparing. So there are nine modules here on how our mind functions deep down. It's the same in you and me, and we're not aware of it. By shining a light and illuminating how our mind functions, we can live with this deeper wisdom. Then we explore our emotions. For example, the mind assumes how it feels is because of how other people are behaving. The other day, a man told me for the first time in his life, he understood after reading the module on anger, that his wife 
wasn't responsible for his anger. It came from his own unmet expectations, which came from his unconscious conditioning. Right? He says our relationship is transformed. Look at the number of women who are abused in the world by men who want them to be what they are not. To, and it's all about educating men about the process of conditioning, which they're not aware of. Then you can take this understanding and apply it to every area of your life. So we have 18 modules here on how to live with wisdom, whether it's dealing with stress or relationships or leadership, communication, addiction. All of these problems can be addressed through this core, deeper understanding of ourselves. So if I give you one simple example, say we look at relationships and how it works. So what is the art of successful relationship? There are 10 modules here. Um, so 10 ways, for example, you could be happier. And it's the most difficult and the most rewarding of the arts of life to learn. A recent 80 year, 80 year long Harvard study confirmed the one thing that determines human happiness is the quality of our relationship. But it's one subject that's not taught anywhere. And we stumble our way through them. And so many relationships, as you know, are soured. So I'll let you, of course, look at that in your own time and in detail. So that's the sec living with wisdom section. Then this one is about a calm mind, which is probably what you'll find in other apps. Then we have a number of features, a number of short videos, which, you know, for example, here on for 40 seconds, the five benefits of wisdom. So those are the wisdom shorts. <clears throat> and then we have a number of life stories <clears throat> where people use this wisdom to tackle a problem. This is a new section called Wisdom Exercises. So suppose somebody has no idea about inquiry, learning about, where do I begin? I've read all the books, it's made no difference to me. What do I do next? So this takes you on a step-by-step -step journey to learn about yourself. So for example, let's look at the exercise on noticing your feelings. There are 14, it's a 14 day challenge. And every day you're gonna learn one thing. And it's gonna take you only five minutes to do. So for example, on day two, we're exploring our feelings linked to thinking. On day four, they're felt in the body. On day six, they stop us from thinking clearly. You know, anxiety, stress, all of that. This is why people do all sorts of crazy things when they're distressed and so on. So this is a really beautiful step-by-step -step program to help people connect with their own wisdom. Um, or our feelings condition us and dictate our future behavior. You know, if I've been anxious before, that's going to stay with me all my life and so on. So that's the wisdom exercises. Um, and then we've got this get help now section, 10 minute videos for people who are stressed right now. Um, what other features do we have? Audio meditations, podcasts, an online journal. So there's a question of the day. All through the app, you're asked questions and you're made to do the work that brings you, connects you with your own wisdom. It's not just reading a book. You know, reading books and memorizing them and repeating them makes no difference at all. I'll give you that example. That here's a glass of water, and here are a thousand books that tell you what water tastes like. We humans are content to read the books, repeat the books. It's my book versus your book. We go to war over them. 
but nobody bothers to drink the water. If we bother to drink the water, we'd realize it's the same wisdom for every human being. Right? So, uh, and then there's a set of guided questions which take you, give you a fresh perspective. It's like a mini coach in your pocket. We've divided all our content into eight sections. So we have all this content. So for example, just take stress and anxiety. There are videos um, to get help now, more detailed modules to explore, life stories, guided questions, short videos, podcasts, events, meditations. And all of that is in one place. Um, and let me just share with, end by sharing one little video with you on stress, which gives you a sense of how the human wisdom approach is different. Imagine how your life could change if you could be less stressed. How can wisdom, which comes from understanding in ourselves, help? If we're sitting an exam, our mind assumes that the exam is causing our stress. Or if we're stuck in a traffic jam, we assume it's the traffic jam that's making us stressed. If we use our wisdom, we can see that stress is just an automatic reaction from our thinking to an external event because not everyone is stressed and not to the same degree. It is a difference between how things are and how we want them to be. We seem to have no control over that reaction. To be free of stress, we can either change the event or change our reaction to it. Often we cannot change the event or another person, but we can change how we react. To do that, we need to understand why our mind reacts and the way that it does. That journey of understanding ourselves opens a door to wisdom which can help us avoid and overcome stress. You can discover this wisdom for yourself because it's already there inside you and it can be life-changing. Stress affects up to 80% of us and impacts our health and unhappiness so you are not alone. Okay, well, you've got the gist of that one. Okay, so what do we do to bring this wisdom to the world? How can we do that? It's not my wisdom. It's already there inside every human being. We just need to connect people with their own wisdom. So what we did is we launched something called the Partnership Program, and John had quite a, a lot of, gave me a lot of advice on this as well. So essentially what we're saying is instead of us paying Facebook and Google to reach people, we're going to reward our existing users themselves to share this with their networks and in the world. So like a ripple effect organically. And now what we're saying is this wisdom, this app can help you help others, help us help them make the world a better place, help us plant trees. And if you want, you can earn an income. Okay, I told you all the benefits of that. One of the things this understanding does is it brings compassion. Because I realize deep down, you and I are the same human being. You act from your conditioning and are not aware of it. You act from your self-interest. Your mind is comparing. You act from your fear. I am the same human being that you are. So from that understanding comes compassion, love, forgiveness, all of that, empathy. Um, so these are some testimonials. And this is really how it works. So you have a referral code. So Shama's a partner. She's put her code in the chat. Um, and if you subscribe to the app using her code, you'd get 10% off. If you decided to become a partner, you use the same code, right? And you can then have a tree planted for every person who joins with your referral code. So we plant trees. We partner with Tree Sisters, a charity here in the UK. Or you can get an income. And the income is up to seven levels of the person, the seventh person down the line who subscribes. So the app is free to download and browse. So there is no pressure to buy it. 
or pressure to sell it. All you're doing is introducing it like you would say, hey, hey, I've come across this nice book or movie. Have a look. This is the trailer. Um, and so the only condition is you need an annual subscription to be a partner, which at the moment is 50 pounds a year or $60 in the US. And this is how it works. So the first person who subscribes using your code, you'll get 10%, the second person, 7%, all the way down to the seventh person, you get 1%. But see the power of networking as to how, what a difference it makes. So from a 50 pound subscription, right at the beginning, here, or 40 pounds, sorry, you could be earning 20,000 pounds a year down to the seventh level. And this is based on a simple assumption. Let's say you have a network of 500 people. You introduce human wisdom to them. Just saying, hey, have a look. This is the launch video. I'll show you that in a second. Only 10 of those 500 subscribe. And out of those 10, only three of them become partners, introduce another 10 people. So it's very simple assumptions. And based on that, you could be earning 20,000. So each person, and yes, it's a network marketing scheme, but at each point we're providing value. We get invitations to free events, a book, the app, et cetera, et cetera. The similar app like Mind Valley costs 400 pounds. We're giving it for 50 because our aim is not to make money. It's to share this wisdom and make the world a better place. Um, and then we've got programs, as I said, being developed for teenagers and, and children and, and so on. So it's on the Google and Apple store. It's also at humanwisdom.me. And um, we've got all sorts of conversations going on. We've got a wisdom and spirituality forum which with Robin. And um, you know we've got a peace conversation going on with some peace uh, groups. We're talking to the US Department of Health about addiction and so on. So you can see how at scale, this is a project that could transform our collective futures as human beings. And of course, provide each of you, if you're interested in being part of it, with a substantial income as we travel. So, so Shama, I think I'm gonna stop talking now and uh, see if people have any comments or questions. I could, as you know, go on for hours, but I'm gonna pause there. Uh, Manoj, thank you so much. That was very insightful. And it's lovely for me to hear it again. I always pick up something new. I'm sure you'd all agree. Um, it's very, very useful, hence why I've actually become